G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Just been dropped off on the highway and I'm walking on the Bibbleman track again and I've decided to do this bit because I've done it four times coming this way but I've never gone south to north and I'm heading into the Mount Dale shelter which I say is 10 points two or 10.3 kilometers from the highway so I think with the amount of times I normally stop walk off a little bit do some filming that might be closer to the 12 and if you're in miles that's about 6.4 miles plus a bit more About 100 metres after turning off the power line track, this is the beautiful view you have. You can still just hear the highway, but that's fine. And it doesn't look, look like anyone's been down this section yet today. Two spider webs, and the third one was a pretty big one. But there was enough space to just walk underneath that one to one side. So I hope if anyone's coming the opposite way, let's hope they see that and they don't walk straight into it. That little spider's worked hard to build that, so I'll leave it there. Yeah, we'll be, like I said, we're walking up to the Mount Dale shelter, but on the way from the Brockton Highway, We'll be walking through the Brookton campsite, which I'll stop. I'll write my trip plans in the book there, the log book. So where I'm going to, and then how long I'll be there, and where I'll end up. So if anything happens, they can easily find you. Remember, even if you're just doing a day hike, sign the trail log book. I think I said earlier in the video, I've walked north to south down this section about four times. Never really took any notice of uh, the decline, as it wasn't that bad. And I didn't think about coming the opposite way south, heading north from Brockton Highway to the Mount Dale Shelter, that we're going to have a nice incline. It's not bad. 
Uh, it feels flat but we have been gently going up and I've just got to a section now not far off uh, I'd say between a third and a half way where uh, we are going up a little bit steeper and it's a bit rocky you can see where the water's washed some of the track out but still nowhere near as bad as coming the other way up Mount Dale but the walk so far it's just beautiful it is very few clouds in the sky temperature around the 22 degrees uh, drops down a couple of degrees when you get in a bit more dense trees giving you more shade then you come to a little bit like this and it opens up and you can feel the temperature come up a little bit but it's really nice it is nice out here and for me to be able to carry on walking uphill holding the camera and talking at the same time either I've got fitter or this isn't that bad now have a look at this near the top and it opens up to this and blue skies very few clouds as you can see anywhere or anyone around the world who's never been to Australia this is a regular winter sky here in Western Australia we do get all the clouds, the grey clouds, the storms, the rain but we get days like this quite a few days like this through the winter If you're wondering what the difficulty is of this section from Brookton Highway to Mount Dale, like I said earlier, a couple of inclines, which on the way back were nice declines. But in general, it's been a fairly easy walk. I think if you're not a seasoned hiker or bushwalker, this would be a good one for you if you want to do your first overnight or your first small bit or small section of the Bibbulmun track 
if you get dropped off at Brookton Highway and you can follow the track all the way up to Mount Dell up to the road there and get picked up. Uh, you can make it in two wheel drives but with a corrugate and a few potholes you'd probably be better if you were in a four wheel drive or an all wheel drive for your safety on the Dale Road. But I've seen little Hyundai Getzes and everything got there. But yeah, this would be a nice little first time. You could even be dropped at Mount Dale, uh, Dale Road, and walk down to Brockton Highway, which would be even easier because most of it's a gentle decline. Walking poles, I always say they're a big yes. It doesn't matter what level you are, whether you're a beginner or experienced walking poles will help you. They yeah, will take the pressure off your joints, off your knees, your hips, your ankles and it'll make it just so more enjoyable to get out and walk. I, I've got mine strapped up here because the walk is so easy at the moment and I've got my tripod and the camera out most of the time. The speed I'm averaging, thinking that I'm stopping taking videos, taking photos, doing awkward walking backward and forward to take video shots and I'm just enjoying it out here I'm not pushing myself and I'm averaging about uh, what's it I checked 2.9 kilometers per hour that's with stopping walking backwards and forwards and just enjoying myself without stressing I reckon I should be at the shelter in about an hour and a half easy so, what time is it now with my watch? I think I started just after 12 and it's 10 to 2. So, I'm way over halfway. Yeah, it's just beautiful out here. Walking as fast as you can, you don't have to do that. Just walk, enjoy the scenery. The only time you nearly really need to pick your speed up is if you're trying to get to shelter and you know it's going to be dark in the next hour and a half, two hours and you just can get to shelter, get set up in the light and get settled down safe. But if you're leaving and the sun rises in the morning and you're doing one shelter to one shelter, yeah, just enjoy that day's walk between shelters. I've caught one kangaroo as he hopped off. I've heard a few more out here. If I've been belting it, averaging my normal pace, I've got up to an average of about 5.1 kilometers per hour if I'm not filming and, and I'm wanting to just get to the shelter. But I would have missed so much if I'd have done that today. So just take your time, enjoy. It is just beautiful out here. There's tadpoles in there. Ten point five kilometers in just under three hours. That's what it took from just down the Brookton Highway a little bit, all the way up to the Mount Dale shelter. And I was not rushing, like I said in the video. I've just been stopping, taking videos backward and forward. So I'm at shelter now. I'll get some more video done tomorrow morning, heading back to Brockton Highway. I saw lots of beautiful flowers out, all the wildflowers. So I'll take some time and I'll do catch some videos of them too. So let's see you in the morning. 6.45. And we're just leaving the Mount Dale shelter, heading back to Brookton Highway. Uh, beautiful night, clear skies, you can see all the stars. Did get a bit chilly. Uh, I had a fire going, just a small one, which made it really nice. All these beautiful white flowers everywhere this morning
smell out here is just beautiful. All these wildflowers out. I just love it. Early starts. Well worth it every single time. Three kilometres into walking back to Brockton Highway for my lift, and I see a big, massive black rain cloud right ahead of me. Oh, it's still beautiful out here. Here we are back at the power lines, so we're nearly back at the Brockton Highway where I'm getting picked up this morning. Now, I left at 10 to 7 this morning and I'm probably five minutes away, 10 at the most from the road, and so that means it's going to be about 9.30. I haven't really rushed, but I haven't stopped as much doing filming, but it's a fairly easy walk. So if you're looking at your first night out on the Bilbelman track, or your first walk on the Bilbelman track, this would be a nice one. I'd say it's about 10.2 or 10.3 from the highway up to the Mount Dale shelter. Bit of incline, bit of decline, nothing serious. Fairly easy. Uh, yeah, even if you're just gonna go all the way to Mount Dale and get picked up from the Mount Dale road, all you're gonna need is a small day pack. You're not gonna need a big pack like I've got at the moment. Well, stopping at the shelter last night, that was just fantastic. The skies were just clear, you could see the sky, all the stars, the moon was just glowing, all the bush. It was just fantastic, it was just beautiful. That's it. And I was quite lucky I got the shelter to myself. So there was no snoring, unless I did any. I had a small fire, which was nice, kept some of the mozzies and everything away. There I've been. Still smoke my jacket now, but I'll just take the jacket and I'll wash it. You, you can't buy experiences like that out in the bush. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have and you haven't already subscribed, please go down below and click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell next to that, and select all so you can be notified of all future videos coming up. <laughs> click the thumbs up button, the like button. Share it with all your mates and family if you think they'll like it. And if you have already subscribed, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.